one in. Hi, my name is uh, Matteo Morlacchi. I'm a general manager of uh, Outray Technology. I'm glad to be here at uh, UTMB as we are uh, official partner of uh, this race. And that's a great opportunity for us to introduce uh, uh, the Outray Technology. So I'd like at first to explain you about how it works in, uh, in football. A uh, very important thing, uh, Audrey is mainly about, uh, Audrey innovation is mainly about deconstruction, it's not really only about the membrane. Of course we use a high level and a high breathable waterproof membrane, but the innovation is really about deconstruction. So in, uh, in all other technology available now in the market, you have a, what is called a booty construction. What does it mean? It means that inside the shoe you have a, a waterproof breathable membrane combined with the lining but in the form of a sock. So the problem with this construction is that you are going to have, you see here the booty, this is the shoe upper, you have a big gap where the water can seep in. So we work as a dry to solve this problem and the solution is to have the membrane laminated directly to the outside of the um, of the shoe, so to the internal layer of the upper. Like in, uh, as you can see here, we have the membrane which is directly bonded to the inside of the upper and is separated from the lining. Um, one question, to achieve this, um, do you need a different fabric altogether or do you need different uh, machinery or does it uh, involve both of them? Yeah, the process works having the membrane laminated on the inside of the upper once the upper is already completed and we do that by a specific three-dimensional lamination machinery which is, uh, has been uh, uh, developed starting from uh, aerospace industry. What you can uh, what is very interesting to see is uh, uh, actually what happened in a, in a comparison between uh, the a booty construction. So you can see through this window how the, so the booty is made. So you can see there is a gap here in between. And uh, with the outer construction, actually the membrane is bonded to the inside of the shoe. And uh, what happened if we put these shoes in the water? You can see. There is a lot of water that is easily trapped in between the booty and the upper. Okay, while, so... <laughs> while on our dry there is no water that is in between because there is no space actually. Okay, so the point is, yes, the, main, the classical membrane would work keeping the water out but still the, wa the water would penetrate the shoe and would be there dragging you and uh, of course call, uh, making you cold whereas with this alternate construction there would be no water penetrating the shoe. Correct, that's the point. With the water inside you have more weight and you have less insulation mm -hmm. so uh, you're going to be more tired and uh, so the experience with uh, wearing the shoe would be much more, uh, much more uh, tough. So the same concept uh, has been applied in gloves. So as you can see, in the standard construction, you have uh, a floating insert which is separated from the outer layer and uh, Without dry, the membrane is actually bonded to the inner inside of the uh, outer shell of the glove. And here again, we can show you that if we wear these two gloves, and so we did, it, yeah, so we we dip the gloves in, into the water. You see how much water? <laughs> yeah, the try? same again. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's trapped in between. Okay. This glove feel colder hmm. because water has penetrated. It's, it's very simple, it's very uh, easy concept to catch, but hmm. uh, as I you mean, can see, just the change in the, sh the construction and the position of the membrane in the, in the product, you can have a big difference. Yeah, Matteo, thanks for the demo. Uh, the visuals are obviously uh, quite clear. Uh, would it be possible to replicate and take uh, factual data of the difference in a laboratory? And if so, what would the numerical data difference be? Yeah, um, let's say that we can measure the performance of the membrane itself. In this case, uh, you'll see data very, so 
uh, very close to all other membrane in the market. What we claim is that uh, by the, the different construction we can have a much better performance and so the point is uh, we invite tester and, uh, and, uh, and consumer to try our technology and uh, give uh, their own feedback. Okay, uh, last do you use, uh, can we see some of the samples? Yeah, the, for, the garments and how they are implemented. Yeah, for instance, if we start on uh, uh, on trade running shoes, I think this is a very interesting uh, development from uh, our partner Scarpa. This shoe is the Atom S. It's very interesting because uh, the the shoe is waterproof up to here. Mm -hmm. So instead to have a gator, we have a, a waterproofing system integrated in the shoe. And uh, the very nice thing is the lining is the one full piece till this point as well. So there are no seams and uh, so the fitting is very comfortable. Uh, the, this shoe uh, incorporates the outdry technology but also the sock fit construction from Scarpa. Uh, then for instance in gloves we have products like uh, Hestra, this is a, a powder ski glove. Or uh, we can have, oh, this is very interesting as well. We have recently applied the outright technology to backpacks as well. So this is, a, and you can have in this way a waterproof pack. Uh, with a very clean and, uh, and nice design. You know that uh, usually waterproof mm. packs uh, looks a bit uh, bulky yeah. and ugly with uh, taping on the outside. So we have the same uh, uh, construction in, uh, as, that we use in footwear also in packs. And so you can see the membrane is uh, inside and uh, so the, the pack you keep uh, totally waterproof. Okay, well thank you. Thanks a lot Matteo. My pleasure. And, uh, We'll be very happy to test in depth some of your garments and uh, report to our uh, <coughs> readers on how they perform. Thank you to Carreras de Montana for this opportunity. Perfect. Okay. <laughs>